Now this is recording of Thursday the 28th of September 1978. And now thought for the day. Brenda Malloy continues her series of talks. of God in the clear running water Blowing to greatness the trees on the hill Spirit of God in the finger of morning Fill the earth, bring it to bud and blow where you will blow, blow, blow till I be the breath of the spirit blowing in me. One of the world's greatest treasures of Christian art is rotting away with mildew, Leonardo da Vinci's The Last Supper. Few pictures of the Christian story move me in any religious sense. Most seem pretty depressing, but this one moves me forcefully. The design is so remarkable that the spectator can become part of the scene, able to stand watching and listening in that upper room. Jesus has just said, one of you will betray me. The words have brought chaos. Some of the disciples are on their feet, shocked by the accusation, swearing loyalty. And Jesus, seated in the center, he seems unaware of the babble around him. His expression is remote, resigned. His hands rest, palms up on the tablecloth among the remnants of the meal, the half-finished wine. His eyes gaze at the pieces of bread. Like the bread, his body will be broken. Like crumbs, his followers will be scattered. The scene is full of vital reminders for me as I bungle my way towards Christ. Most important of all, there is the Holy Communion, his tangible reminder, and his acceptance of every shade of character to his table. But in the decay of Leonardo's masterpiece, there is a significance for Christians as we argue over what should or should not be added or changed in our worship. We seem a bit lost in the past, over-anxious about the future, overwhelmed by worn-out dogmas, and concealed by mildewed books of canon law, Jesus sits waiting, resigned and patient. There's horror and despair in the Christian story, but the message continues bright and fresh, full of hope as a spring morning with the resurrection. Leonardo's picture is the work of a genius. Its disintegration is a great loss. But all human creations disintegrate. The human spirit alone is indestructible. Every day is a new day. Spirit of God in the clear running water Blowing to greatness the trees on the hill Spirit of God in the finger of morning Fill the earth, bring it to bud and blow where you will blow, blow, blow till I be the breath of the spirit blowing in me. Brenda Malloy and young Francis at the end of his week of stories.